Hello and welcome to episode 34 of Stronger Together, my series with the mighty Team Valley as always. Thanks for coming back, thanks for being here for another little Valley adventure. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, it really does help the YouTube algorithm and I do appreciate it. Like I appreciate any comments, anyone who watches an advert and of course my patrons. If you want to become a patron and keep the wife off my back, <laughs> you can always check the link down below. As little as 80 pence a month, you can help support the channel, and that is massively appreciated. Um, I've got a great video hopefully coming out very soon with one of my best friends, Limo. Um, so keep your eyes out for that, because in that video, we, or Lee, is going to be giving away a copy of FM21. And soon, I might have a shirt to give away. Lee bought himself an extra Tame Valley shirt, so keep your eyes out. A few giveaways coming up. Now, today's episode, we're going back to Europe. We're going to have a double live comp. I can't wait, so get your passport ready. Seriously, I can't wait for this. But I've got a lot to cram in, really, to try and fit all this into 20 minutes. So let's get going. Burnley beat Spurs. What is wrong with Spurs in the Football Manager universe? That's why I did that rebuild with them. Because they needed it. Um, well, they got beat, and then we faced Burnley. And we beat them 3-0. With what you kind of would call a B team. In the quarterfinals, we're going to be facing Manchester United. My God, my God. Now, most of you may know it's been my little boy's birthday recently and I wanted to get him a United kit, but um, we didn't. And he plays for Soccer Tots football, which should be starting again soon. So I decided to get him one for his birthday and he loves animals. So I got him this one and here he is wearing it. He absolutely loves it. So I'm really buzzing, really buzzing. My little Man United fan. I did tell you this, I think in the last episode, we are going to be playing Patrick Vieira's Everton. And we beat them 2-1. Buzzing with this game, to be fair, because it was tight. So, great win for us. Great victory. It was a bit of a... There's a lot going on. So, I took a risk in this game because I felt like the team I put out could still do a job. I really, really did. I believed in them. And we nearly did it. I mean, we went 3-0 down and I went all out at them. And we came back into it, we scored two goals late on, quite quick. And I'm thinking, God, if we can score that quick, we can get back into it. And, and we didn't. So, yeah, our FA Cup dreams this year have died. <laughs> but our Champions League dreams, they're still alive. They're still alive, Valley fans. Um, we're in fourth, so obviously, you know, we've dropped some points since we last saw you. But we're still doing better than anyone thinks, better than anyone expected. We've got a bit of a cushion on Liverpool, but... This is going to be tough. I mean, City, United, Arsenal above us. Liverpool just behind us. Spurs as well. Wolves aren't far off. And Wolves have given me a beating. I think they were the first team to beat me in the league. So there's a long way to go. What, it's 10 games left to play. It ain't going to be easy, man. It's not. But we're not going to give up, are we? Our superb defence has obviously got a little bit leaky. A little bit. I mean, technically there, we're third. So we're still good. Um, I mean, I'd love to get in the Champions League. I want this team to grow. And we're in the Europa Conference. It'd be nice to maybe go in the Europa League. But I won't turn down Champions League purely because of the finances. So, of course, the heartbreaking loss to Man City in the last episode. I think that made like five games without a win. And somehow we were still second at that point. Um, shows you how, what a foundation we built early in the season. This was the next game. So, yeah, we started going on a run here without a win and I was starting to worry, starting to think, you know, the wheels really are going to start to fall off. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, this was a great game. I mean, look at it. To go 3-0 down and then come back. We then drew against Chelsea, which is a great result, but, you know, we needed a win and finally we got one. Away at Brentford, who had knocked us out the um, the cup. And, again, I gambled because of games that were going on and I rotated the squad. And I was not let down. We then beat Southampton. We battered Southampton. And then we beat Leeds away. And I'm showing you this game because Leeds have been a bit of a bogey team for us. As you know. Um, <clears throat> so when we really needed a win to beat a team like this. Made me feel very, very happy. We then lost two more games. And then we won some more games. So, you know, I've been using that squad. Again, as you can see, this is the last league game i played. Winning 3-2. I mean, some of the reasons why we're probably leaking in goals is because I am rotating. I'm giving Greeno a rest. I'm giving a lot of players a rest. And trying to use that squad and i still think we're doing well so i have highlighted the uh, city game there from the last episode as you can see that after that game drew two won a couple lost a couple and we're back on a winning streak 
and I needed that momentum because today we're going to have a double live comp. In between, I'm going to have to play a game against Leicester. And we've got Liverpool after that. The United quarter final isn't far after that. So, you know, things start to pick up and get pretty exciting. Checking on the squad and uh, a lot of great performers at all levels of the squad. People who class as the better players, the lower players are coming in and doing a job. Could not be prouder. Um, I love this team. Now, obviously, we've got some players who want to play more. Cal Martin is now asking to leave. He really has. I think he's just. His time is done. Even though he's playing, he wants a new challenge, and I'm going to have to let him go. But that's going to open the avenue for me to hopefully find a good left back. Um, I'm doing scouting. We'll see what I come up with. Hopefully, we can find someone. Um, Peter wants to leave as well. He wants to play more. So, you know, there'll be some changes again in the summer, but. Hopefully we're going to be playing at a higher level in Europe. I'm hoping the squad develops and keeps growing as a unit like they seem to be. And uh, the more years we carry on, the better we'll get, hopefully. Because I want to win something. Especially, I've got to win something major before this series finishes. I want to look at what I call the legendary trio. Three of my friends who are in this game. Three of my oldest subscribers and patrons. And we're going to start off by looking at the ex-captain, Captain Kano. Who, for a very long time was our elite striker. Now he has come to me recently saying he don't know if he's good enough anymore for the first team. But I love him. I really do love this guy. He still scores goals and he's a handy player to have in the squad. The next one is Joe Page, another player who started out at the beginning and like all the three lads I'm going to show you now, when they signed their first contract with us all the way down in the non-league, did any of them ever think they'd be playing in the Premier League in Europe? I don't know if they did, but... Um, the likes of Joe Page have just hung on in there. Now, if you ever check the comments, you'll see Greeno, and he uh, he has a bit of fun playing up to his character. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met, to be fair, in real life. Um, but he plays Billy Big Balls on this, and to be fair to him, he should because he really is the one keep the one player really that's come from the beginning that I think's really become a top player. And in the early days, I think him going away with uh, Gibraltar hurt us, whereas now it's okay because we have a lot of international... Well, we have quite a few internationals, so it doesn't matter anymore. We have breaks for it. Um, and I think that's helped him become the keeper he is. Well then, who are we playing in this double-legged live con? It's the second round of the Europa Conference. I was hoping we'd get a crappy team, but we've got Stuttgart. So, Stuttgart. Well, I haven't got any uh, leagues running in Europe. I've just got England on. I know I should, maybe should have, but I haven't. Uh, I'm keeping this database running smoothly. I mean, if I turned them on, there'd probably be more players available to me, but I'm not too bothered. I feel like we're doing okay. But yeah, Stuttgart, man. Still a Bundesliga team. They're a good club. Got a 60,000 seat of freaking stadium, which to be fair, looks pretty nice. I mean, Stuttgart itself looks absolutely beautiful. Situated somewhere in the south, I think, not too far from Munich. It's going to be a great trip. And the first leg is away, so we need to go there, lay a foundation for the tie, hopefully not get beat, and then bring them back to the evolving mindset arena and finish the job. So welcome to Stuttgart. This is the first live com. I, I don't know too much about their team. I recognise a few faces. Got a couple of regens in their squad, but they're going to be good. Big stadium, big club really. But I'm pretty confident we can uh, do something special today, hopefully. And we're off, and we're playing in our blue kit. Look at it quite like it to be fair and um, pretty excited pretty nervous I mean we're in the Europa Conference and I was talking about the quality of it obviously I think Stuttgart have come down from the Europa League we'll see what happens though <laughs> so as you know I film at some random times at the minute I'm trying to fit this into my life and get as much content out as possible so you might be able to tell by the tone of my voice it's either very late at night or it is very early in the morning so have a guess for a bit of fun in the comments. Is it 1am or 4am? <laughs> Both are terrible. Um, you're not going to win anything, but I'm, intri I'm intrigued to see if anyone can guess. And oh, Wait, he's pulling this back. He's pulling it back. Checking the goal review. Come on. Always. Uh, I've given the lads a bit of encouragement. Usually comes in now about 20 minutes later for some weird reason. But yeah, it is what it is. But... Um, I just want to say to anyone who saw my post on Twitter or they've seen my um, latest poll on my channel about the Wonder Kid Strikers and that they've wished my little boy happy birthday. Thank you very much. He had a, he's had a great day. He had a great day, honestly. Um, 
He's got him a little bike, got him helmet, got him loads of stuff. United kit, he's got loads of stuff. The list is endless. Right, so half an hour and not a lot is going on. It is what it is. The Sheriff looks like a standout player, but I haven't really seen much. It's not extended, which is unfortunate. It basically says this game ain't great. I mean, I don't want a nil-nil. We do need an away goal. It'll help. That would be nice. I think we'll be a different team at home with all you boys behind us. I mean, some of you are probably here today. Go on. Go on, Fletch. Right, here we go. Abreu. Oh, he's found him. He's found Ribeira. Can he cross it in? No, he's dilly-dallying, but he's still got the ball. Go on, lad. Cross. Oh, my God. Well, we're starting to turn the screw a bit. They might have scored early, but hopefully, with, with getting it disallowed, the Reds have dropped a bit. Well, it's our time. I'd say we're looking the better team, but anything can happen in Europe. All right, come on, boys. Come on. Let's just find that goal. There's a Sheriff, some player, man. The Sheriff and Bayliss and Ford to get three players that call it from the Championship. Very good, although that wasn't very good. But honestly, I'm buzzing with this. I really want to be like, I want to up the volume, but I can't. <laughs> I want to be singing songs. I mean, we're way in Europe playing a Bundesliga team. In Europe, don't matter what Europe it is. Here it is, Abreu. He's found Ribeira. Get in. There we go. Well, that settled the nerves a little bit. Got an away goal on the board here. Very handy to have. Oh, here we go, Bayliss. Come on, come on. Finds a Sheriff, finds Fletcher. Can he kill one in? Nearly had a bit of bend on that. We're playing positively. John Terry wanted me to play very defensive. I don't know if it's because he used to be a defender, but if John Terry had his way, we would play very defensive against Accrington Stanley. Anyone, he loves it. Right, corner ball, Stuttgart. Come on, lads. No, 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 no. Back into it, aren't they? Bastard. Right, I made a double substitution. Um, Joe Page has got to come on at left back for Kroll because I don't have anyone else. Uh, and I'm giving Kaney a go in Europe. He deserves it after everything this kid has done for the club. It'd be pretty special if the lad scored a goal away at Stuttgart. No one believes in him anymore apart from me and the Valley fans. He's done too much for us to ever give up on him. Here he is. Looked like he just punched him in the back of the head then. Good old Captain Kano. That's a Scotsman in him. He is from Glasgow. You know what I mean? But I don't like this. I don't like this. 20 minutes ago on Stuttgart are starting to look like the better team. But here we go. Come on, boys. Ribeira charging forward. This is when we can do damage. He's threaded it through. He's found Bayliss. Oh, he can't miss that. Do, 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 do. Oh, do you know what? I'll do that. Why not? Let's bring Sun on for some football on the right hand side. Got a lot of attacking threat on that team now. Sun. And of course, Kane. Less than 10 minutes ago, we've got two goals, two away goals. We're in a great spot here. It's going to plan so far. Quebec. Oh! Let's watch this again. You know me, I don't do replays. It's extra editing, but check this out for unexpected. Look at that. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Right, we are well into injury time. We're into the dying seconds. Well, well, we're over injury time. We've got a corner here from Sun. Can we just kill this game off? We haven't all. Oh my God, Captain Ford. Well, well, well. I can't lie. Didn't expect it. Was hoping we'd at least get a draw. Maybe get an away goal. But we just absolutely came to life in that second half. Came to life. I've seen Joe Page playing that position, getting a 7.2. You might not have noticed it, but I think it's all down to Joe. Right then, we've only got a two day rest and then I've got to play Leicester. So I'm going to play this now against Andre Villas-Boas off camera and then we'll come back for the second leg, which I might be able to rotate a bit. Well, that momentum is carrying on and we are getting confident and we're in a good vein of form. And this was a good game because it was away against Leicester. I think they were eighth in the league at the time. And I mean, they created more. And it, you could call it equal. I mean, XG was equal. But we scored two early goals. We got a penalty. Um, they had a goal disallowed. We had a goal disallowed right on the death. So that leaves us fourth still. Eight points clear of Liverpool. Eight points clear. Champions League could be in sight. And now I've been in that top four for most of the season. All season. We've got to try and stay there now. I mean, go for that big money. Welcome to the Evolving Mindset Arena. I've made a few changes. Kaney starting, Page is starting, Jackson starting. Um, Daryl Mouchillon, the French genius, he's still recovering from an injury. That's why he's not playing Ribeiro. He's at a knock, so he's not even on the bench. So we're back home. We're in our home kit. We've got all you guys behind us. We've got a great cushion here, 4-1. Hopefully, we don't balls this up. Hopefully. Now, the reason I have you know, started a few guys who normally wouldn't have started in a game like this is because I feel like I can take that risk. 
And the next two games, we've got to play a massive. We've got this is a Thursday night football. Here's Kroll. Um, we've got two days off, and then we play Liverpool at Anfield on Sunday. We're fourth, they're fifth. That is a massive game. We've, got, we've done great against Liverpool. But that's going to be a huge game. And then the next game after that is Manchester United in the quarterfinals. What's that, the Carabao Cup? I mean, that is. I could make another episode and double live com that, really, but it's too much, in it? It would be great. I'm not going to. So you need to wish me luck with them because they're going to be tough. If we come out of, out of those games or anything, it would be great. Personally, I want to beat Liverpool. United, I don't think we'll do that, but we'll see. Even though we're winning 4 1, I am still nervous. Here we go. Here's Son. He's playing out wide on the right today. The Unflushable made a great comment. Maybe actually to laugh out loud. He said, I bet it's funny in training, isn't it, when you shout, Oi, son! And three people turn around. Because we've got Jackson here, Fletcher here. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh, oh. Are we getting a penalty? Looks harsh, don't care. Checking penalty review. No, what? what? Right, I've shown some encouragement. Come on, boys. You can do it. Come on. I mean, freaking hell, just hold them back. Don't let them in. Don't let them score. Just let that clock keep tick ticking away <gasps> right here we go come on boys come on here's joey page came on and made a difference in the last game son to joey go on joe page oh mate weaker foot right, here's the sheriff come on someone thread it through to brian kane can't get onto that he can't get onto that but he's trying he's trying he's like a little pit bull snapping at the reels here's a brayu to kane brian fucking kane get in he scored a goal in europe i'm so happy all right come on joey Come on, oh, let's give the ball away and the throw in through it straight to one of their players. He looks huge in, by the way. Q Beck trying to win it back. Oh, he's found Kane as a Breu. Oh, good shot, good effort. We are the valley. We are. We travel near and far to wash the boys in white. Oh, Stuttgart, you are shite. We hate you, Stuttgart. We do. We hate you, Stuttgart. We do. We hate you, Stuttgart. We do. Oh, the valley, we love you. Job done. But you never know, dear. You, you genuinely never know. But hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's get through these 45 minutes and we're into the next one. Right, come on. Come on, the valley. Come on, the valley. Crawl. Has been one of my best players this year. What a pickup he was a couple of years ago. Brilliant. And um, I mean, he, he ain't got the best star rating, but he's a solid all-round player, to be fair. But you know, Martin will be leaving, unfortunately, because he wants to go. So we'll see. I mean, if I can't find anyone, I might just have to get a youngster who can develop and crawl and get a good season. This is the out and out left back. No, no, no. The back in it. Like I mentioned earlier in the episode, um, me and Limo, um, the Twitch streamer and friend of mine, are coming up with a video soon gonna make it hopefully in a couple of weeks so it'll be out soon it's it's gonna be good um, a one-off if it goes well we might do more great little concept should be a bit of fun we're gonna obviously try and raise more awareness revolving mindset like I said he's, he's gonna be in that episode he's coming on my channel he's gonna be giving away a copy of FM 21 so I know a lot of people still don't own it so you'll have a, you'll have a chance to win it which is fantastic and then he's giving me a shirt I don't know what size it is one jacks it might be an extra large or double XL um, but he's got an extra shirt, an extra Team Valley home shirt to give away. So, someone out there, maybe you wanted one, you couldn't afford one. Oh, oh my God! Obviously, they're not made; they don't get made anymore. So, um, one of you might have a chance to win it. Right, going into the last ten minutes, just tick away that clock. I've had no highlights. One thing I'm gutted about is Moshion's injury. I really wanted him to play a part in this, but hopefully. He's going to have some more European football to play. Right, this has got to be end of game highlight. I've had nothing. It's just been ticking along. It's like we've just shut up shop. <sighs> Tell you what, that is a job. Well done. Hey, come on the valley. Well, we didn't get a live draw because I'm guessing it was one of them double draws and I forgot about it. So we instantly got told we're going to be playing Lagans in the quarterfinal. And these are the teams that left in it. We've got Basel. Obviously, we're playing Lagans. Uh, Standard, Rennes. Lazio are still in it. Braga, Olympiacos. Some good, good teams here. Really, really good teams. The United game's actually been moved. It's been pushed way, way forward. So we've got Liverpool next, like I said. Only two days off. Played them on Sunday. Then I've got Everton. Then it's straight back to Europe. Aston Villa squeezed in the middle of that. West Brom. 
games we need to be winning in the league, hopefully secure that top four. And we've got Manchester United in the quarterfinal. What an episode. I've absolutely loved it. Loved it. Hopefully you did too. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, if you randomly find this episode. Thank you very much. Make sure you go and check out all my content. I've got a current rebuild at the moment of filming with Deportivo. I've got a few more editor videos hopefully coming out in the next week or two. I've got my next rebuild planned. I've got loads of content planned. I've got a story that I'm putting together still that might be a while. I've got my video with Lee. I've got another video out with some subscribers. It's coming thick and fast. So stay tuned and thank you for the support. Thank you for anyone who does comment, all that usual stuff. I appreciate all the inter interaction and support. You're a bunch of legends. I love you a long time. Hopefully you've had a great weekend. I know I have. Take care, I'm Bude. Bye-bye.